Uh, I'd like to quickly uh, acknowledge the traditional owners on which we are presenting and the land on which the uh, project is located and pay my respects to Elders past, present and future. This project is called Home Richmond um, and it's located in Richmond. Um, the client was obviously home, the builder was Hayser and we had uh, wonderful collaborators, you can see one of them in the audience today, in NH who did the whole retail strategy and design so it was a collaboration for that ground zone component. The project uh, incorporated a build to rent, uh, residential um, aspect, affordable housing, commercial, retail, extensive retail, uh, and really urban repair. And I think really first and foremost, uh, this project was about uh, not a new urban intervention, um, but actually about rebuilding a place and a space that had been really uh, suffering for a long time. So if anyone's familiar with the site on the corner of Bridge Road and Church Street, uh, it for at least the last 20 years that I've known has been terribly dilapidated uh, and not functioning as it should. It, it was quite antisocial in a lot of areas. The shopping centre didn't work. Uh, it really has led to, uh, I believe, a lot of the deterioration of um, this part of Richmond, sort of west, uh, going up Bridge Road. These are some of the site photos of what it used to be. Um, and what we did was a lot of the built form hasn't changed the scale, but has actually just re-established re it in a better way. You can see this is again looking, this is looking down Church Street now. So there is three storey built form, which is what it gets replaced with, albeit that there's um, uh, dwellings above, towers, which are sort of six to nine storeys. But again, this is really about repair. How could we actually uh, enhance this whole uh, ground plane and precinct? The material, even the buildings themselves, were quite cheaply put together. So we've really uh, reimagined re this with beautiful brickwork uh, and much more robust materials. There was a car park coming onto Cameron Street. The site itself is, is extensive because it has so many interfaces. So obviously as the Bridge Road interface, uh, a Long Church Street interface, Cameron Street and Bank Street. So there was a lot of edges to kind of repair and work with and a lot of permeability that could be created and stitching back into the whole kind of neighbourhood. As I was saying, heading this way, there's been a lot of um, sort of um, enhancement of, of Bridge Road. Lots of shops and cafes have been sort of coming back. This way, I go past and the new shop closes um, every second day. So there's been a lot, it's struggled a lot in the east, in the west direction, sorry. You go there now and this really has transformed the area and hopefully it does bring traders back to some of those other smaller shop fronts along Bridge Road, but certainly the area we've been able to control immediately has certainly transformed that whole area. That's just an urban, that's just a, a current photo showing that it, um, it hasn't sort of changed the built form, albeit that there's taller built form through the middle of the site now. Just looking at a sort of figure ground or, a, or a, just a simple ground plane, uh, ground plan, uh, Plan, plan to show what we're dealing with. So on the ground level, all of this is now dedicated to retail basically. There is a full line supermarket and then a, um, a sort of market uh, hall in front of that supermarket. So it's quite beautiful when you walk through here, there's smaller traders and bakeries and shops through there and it has these fingers that also head out towards Bridge Road. Uh, a sort of building configuration just to orientate yourselves again. So that's Church Street and Bridge Road. We actually straddle the heritage building here, so we had to be quite sympathetic both in our architectural response and in keeping some distance from that building, and you'll see that in photos. All of that activation, we've now got along um, Church Street, uh, and you can see the f sort of the four buildings that sit above that, and they're quite modest in what they house in those buildings. There's actually um, a little building here, which is 12 units, which is affordable housing, so that's subsidised housing, um, that, that home offers uh, for those residents. And then there's smaller, modest scale buildings that has tw around 28 to 30 units, 40 units, and two large buildings. This is all built to rent, as I mentioned, and I guess the real proposition and benefit in that type of housing is the security of tenure it provides. That's been a challenge, I think, in a lot of the Australian setting and landscape where uh, people haven't had that security of tenure and they can be asked to leave because of anything. It could be someone wanting to redo the house. Uh, many, many number of reasons. So that security, these buildings aren't moving today or tomorrow. Residents have that um, safety and comfort knowing they can um, reside comfortably. 
The other part that I guess differentiates build to rent is their ex extensive amenity. So there's around eight square metres of uh, amenity per resident, which equates to around two and a half thousand square metres of indoor amenity uh, and plus more for outdoor amenity. So a few thousand square metres of amenity for residents, which goes well beyond what you'd see in a typical um, apartment uh, building complex. That's just showing some of that permeability through the site. That was an important one for council. How could you navigate through this site and it didn't pr pr kind of create edges that were impermeable? How could you meander through the site and actually get from one part of Bridge Road and kind of cut across into Church Street and go to the Oval and vice versa if you're in Bank Street and the northwest of the site, could you get through? So permeability was a really important thing, creating a kind of series of laneways. I touched on that resident amenity uh, and, and extensive landscaping. So the, the four main buildings uh, sit in a sort of cruciform arrangement with gardens, extensive gardens that run uh, between and around them. And then there's an amenity sort of block that has uh, dining facilities, outdoor recreation, uh, swimming pool, theatre, gym, Pilates, uh, you name it. It's got wellness, it's got a whole lot that's sort of um, in, into that portion of the site. Does it? There's around 400 bicycles, so there's a lot of uh, bicycles that have been provided on site as well. That's more than one for every resident. Again, much higher than you've seen a typical residential um, offering. Just going through some of the plans and other sections, you can kind of see it from the axos that we showed. There was a lot of thinking just around and sketching just around what the buildings would look like. Cues they would take from the sawtooth roofs in the area, the brickwork, the corbelled piers, And that's where you start to just see the building form sitting in that, in that part of Richmond now on the corner of Church and Bridge Road. Photos like this where we're sort of, uh, there's a sort of, you know, a nod to the Corwood Piers. You've seen the old buildings as you start to look down to where our site resides. The activation at ground level, again, working with NH on that. So it's wonderful. This has nearly always got people uh, kind of busily in the cafes and in that whole market hall area. Much more sort of robust built form now. The use of primarily brick to all street edges and concrete. Again, those nods to kind of the sort of the heritage buildings. So again, this building doesn't sort of scream loud, there's a new intervention, but really a rebuilding of the area. Looking over the oval and some of that amenity that's around, you now get these glimpses of a new roof line that's a bit of a nod to the warehouse and industrial part of Richmond. This is the little uh, affordable housing uh, uh, building off Bank Street, so you can tuck in here and still permeate and get through the entire site from this part of the, um, the site, the precinct. Just nods to colour and character where we've drawn on what we see in the area. The heritage building that was respected, you can't see it here, but the window, uh, a lot of the window apertures and proportions kind of reflect what we saw in that old building. The extensive use of brickwork and corbelling. Details to shop, sort of chamfer corners to pull people into these laneways. 